Lands of Lore was a game created in a time when they really took their time to make a backstory to the game. And in this one they did it brilliantly. I will show you something called the Lore of the Lands and in this particular, it's like a second introduction to the game, Patrick Stewart will tell you all about the history of a castle called Gladstone. Not much is known of the beginning of the lands, for the chronicles do not extend much beyond the golden age of the ancients, the time before that we can only deduce from myths and legends. An accurate picture of the golden age has been left to us by the Dracoid chronicles. During this time, the chroniclers tell us, the ancients roamed the lands and held dominion over all. Powerful and seemingly invincible, the ancients provided a period of golden peace, there was no want, the peoples lived in harmony, for the ancients provided for all. But the ancients succumbed during the War of the Heretics, a war of terrible power and destructive will. Believed to have been initiated as a conflict between the most powerful ancients, it soon spread to all, and the entire race of supernormal beings was annihilated. After the fall of the Golden Age, the world was plunged into darkness. Uneducated and illiterate, the surviving populace in the land soon reverted to their primitive states and lived isolated and obscure lives. The teachings of the ancients were soon forgotten and the ancients themselves soon passed into myths and legends. But as time wore on, the species began expanding and exploring the world left to them. This was the time of the great travelers who wrote of strange lands and even stranger adventures. But the meeting of the new species was not always a peaceful one. History echoes with the battle cries and death screams from the racial wars. Violent uprisings spread across the lands as the inevitable conflict among cultures occurred. Lasting for nearly a millennium, the wars destroyed many cultures. Ultimately, acceptance of other cultures ended the wars, but not before much knowledge was lost. This era was the basis of the White Alliance, which was formed of the four ascendant races. Humans, Dracoids, Huline, and Thomgog. This alliance established dominion over the lands, and a new era of peace was ushered in. But magic had been loosed in the lands during the wars. Magic unhealthy and nefarious. It found a home with the Dark One, leader of the Dark Army. For the last three generations, the Dark Army has addressed its attention to the throne of Gladstone, a center for education and magic in the lands. The throne has been staunchly defended by the heroes of the lands and remains, to date, undefeated. Yet evil forces throughout the lands are gathering again, and the discovery of an ancient power may bring ruin to the Gladstone heirs and the White Alliance. The Drawrackle has seen this, and his sight is never disputed. The Drawrackle is always right. He is the last surviving ancient that you just heard so much about. And we'll meet him along the way um, with all the other epic characters that this game has to offer. They're all brilliantly voice acted and uh, we're in for quite an adventure here. We're gonna hunt a witch called Scotia. You've seen her in the introduction. And she's dug up something called the Nether Mask, which allows her to change into any shape or form that she pleases. And she wants to use this power to defeat the Kingdom of Gladstone and the king currently ruling it, King Richard, the one with the awesome voice. And we will play the character selected by King Richard to hunt this witch down. It will be quite an adventure and I hope you go along on the ride once we start this Let's Play in the next video. See you there.